Hi, I'm Chris from Paddleboard Specialist. And I'm Kevin, and today we're talking about the Midwest Stand-Up Paddle Festival coming up on August 6th in Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. And more importantly, the Super Lab. That's right. So, uh, this year we're introducing into our six-mile race a new format for us. Uh, it's not a new format to the racing scene by any means. It's been around since about 2014. Um, but it's new for us around here. Uh, it's the Super Lab. So, what is a Super Lab? What is a super, what is a super? I was gonna throw that right back in here. Right. So a super lap, it's uh, it's a race format when you have a race that has multiple laps. So say you've got a race that has four laps, like ours. Um, three of those laps are gonna be kind of your standard size lap, and on one of those laps, you get to take a shortcut. Short yep, at a buoy, and uh, shortcut one of your laps. So uh, what that means is. In races where you typically have kind of the start of the race, the draft trains settle out early, and you can kind of look and see, you know, like, oh, hey, there's the lead draft train, and oh, there's the second one, and the draft train. We'll talk about that later. Yeah, also known as the paddle time. That's something that we're trying to get going. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to take hold, and you heard it here. <laughs> you heard it here first. The lead draft train is the paddle time. Anyway, I'm not on board with that. Just okay. FYI. Well, just, um, so the. Uh, you can see in, in <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> Very good. Um, so, kind of the, the argument, and I'm, I'm paraphrasing slightly from Chris Parker here, so Chris, don't sue us for plagiarizing. Um, flat water races can sometimes be kind of boring. Um, and I mean, we all love the sport and we all recognize that sometimes those races settle out early. Uh, you know, some people are good starters and they start and they get in that lead draft train and then that is the draft train the whole race. Um, and yeah, people get kind of complacent. Uh, nobody wants to make a move too early. There's this weird thing with like temporary alliances of like, hey, let's all work together and you take the lead for a little bit and then I'll take the lead. And, and I, anyway. Nothing changes throughout the race, very rarely. You'll get a guy stuck in no man's land and then you'll get maybe another draft train, but it's really, really hard to make up ground and catch and, and have anything exciting or shuffling happen in the middle of the race. So, enter the super lap. Yeah, it is, and it is meant to add some excitement. Also, um, you know, add a little bit more strategy into, into the mix. Uh, if you see, if you look at that uh, that footage that we posted up on onto our Facebook page, I mean, you'll see that you know everyone's sort of lullagging, and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you know, one paddler decides to take the super lap, and everyone, you know, everyone turns up, you know, the intensity. So that's really what we're looking to do, and, and hopefully, and again, we're, we're, it's such a new, um, it's such a new thing. You know, who knows where all this stuff's going to settle out? But I mean, we're, you know, we're willing to give it a shot and um, and see how everyone likes. So it is the Midwest Stand-Up Paddle Festival, so it's about more than just that six-mile race and the super lap. Uh, the day kicks off bright and early, 7.30 in the morning, we've got some lakeside yoga as well as on-the-water yoga. And some coffee from Colectivo and Bella Vista. Two kinds of coffee. Uh, and then we've got the three-mile race, followed by the six-mile race that has that super lap. Uh, we've got some clinics. Yep, clinics, we've got sub-101, and we've got some stroke clinics going on, and also we're going to have some raffles. So we're going to be giving away a board, lots of different raffles, anything from wine to three-month memberships, you know, at the wine. You know, I don't think those two are related, but I'll later. Yeah. And then in the afternoon, uh, after the raffle, we're going to have some paddle relays, sprints, uh, kids race, uh, just a little bit of everything going on after that. Um, shorter format, not a six-mile relay or anything like that. Uh, and then the entirety of the day, we're going to have a Demos. number of our vendors that Demos, 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 and more demos. So um, I would say almost all of our vendors are going to be present. So you're going to see their tents. They're going to be out there. They're going to be talking about their stuff. You're going to be able to try it out. So it's a great place. You know, if you haven't made your mind up yet, or even if you have made your mind up yet, and you're just thinking about next season, or you're thinking about, you know, hey, I've got an all-arounder, and what's this touring site all about? Um, you can try some touring boards. You can try some race boards. If you've never tried racing before. Really try and stress and try and make this as friendly of an event as possible to get everyone out there, getting out there, getting out there and having a good time and having fun. Getting out there three times. Getting out there. Uh, and Chris, how much do, uh, do you have to pay to demo? Oh, that's very good. Ten dollars. Ten dollars gets you all the demos, gets you into the clinics, you get a little wristband, you can go and do whatever you want for ten bucks. 
Um, the races obviously are more than that, but you know, in order to be able to attend the event and access all the demos and clinics and all the fun stuff, it's just 10 bucks, and it goes to supporting our Conwalk Sports Booster Program. That's correct. So all the proceeds go to the local sports booster club. Should be pretty fun. Do we have anything else to say about this? We'll say thank you, and we'll see you again next time, where we will probably be talking about draft. Re oh, Register today at, on our website, um, at our events page, and at specialist.com. Thanks. Thank you. Watch, I wasn't recording that whole time.